हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर अजय शर्मा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग जेम्स इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट टेक्निकल कैंपस नॉलेज पार्क थ्री ग्रेटर नोएडा द सब्जेक्ट दैट आई टीच इन दिस सेमेस्टर फॉर बीटेक एंड सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स इज ऑप्टो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन द टॉपिक दैट आई डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ सोनेट एंड एस टीएच Sonnet means synchronous optical network and synchronous digital hierarchy. So try to understand this sonnet. You know, it's, a, it's actually an optical network and mainly used in networking as well as as well as optical network is concerned. So and uh, basically used in telephone. so today telephony network is uh, largely based on the evolution of the first digital infrastructure based on a time driven multiplexing system with strict synchronization requirements or pleio cronus digital hierarchy so sonnet means synchronous optical network Uh, in which optical signal based rate of 51.84 megabyte bits per second megabyte per second what is sdh it's a synchronous digital hierarchy and this standard is uh, european based mainly used in euro which is equivalent to sonnet right sonnet is mainly used in america us and there is a third category of uh, networking although this particular network is not given in the syllabus but there are third optical networking which we called as sts synchronous transport signal which is equivalent standard for electrical signal so as far as sonnet is concerned sonnet stand for a synchronous optical network and standard for optical communication transport it uh, defines optical carrier oscillators synchronous transport signals sts for the fiber optic based transmission hierarchy so again uh, this particular sonnet is uh, you know is recommended by itu international telecommunication telecommunication union right so itu recognize this sonnet or sdh and uh, itu just define a structured multiplexing hierarchy itu recommend define and define management and protection mechanism involved in sonnet define physical layer requirements in optical components in sonnet and uh, define multiplexing of different sources and protocols over sonnet or you may say sdh so what are the goals uh, of this sonnet uh, or sdh so the main goals of sonnet or sdh are to fault tolerance of uh, telecom providers requirement and to make sure the availability of uh, 99.999% right and uh, in interoperability among different Structures and flexibility of upper layer formats to adapt to different source. Complex monitoring capabilities of performance and of traffic. This is a sonnet uh, layer which we compared with OSI model. Uh, you know, so so what we have to compare this sonnet with OSI model. which is a part of computer network right so sonnet belongs to optical network and osi belong to computer network right so as far as the layers uh, that involved in sonnet is concerned uh, we have physical layer and data link layer so in physical layer we have a photonic layer and in data link layer we start with section layer then line layer and path layer 
So these are the layers that uh, involved in physical data link and uh, sorry, physical link and data link. So SONET or SDH uh, reference model. Uh, we discuss what uh, what you know what contain in this uh, SONET or SDH reference model. So start with path layer. Uh, it is just like OSI layer 3, which is a network layer. So, if you uh, compare with uh, you know, OSI uh, layer, we have uh, layer 3, we have path layer. Sorry. So, path layer uh, involves uh, manages end to end connection and uh, monitoring and management of uh, user connection. Then we have a line layer that involves multiplexing of several path layer connection among nodes. And the second one is protection and fault management. Now, as far as section layer is concerned, we have in this layer defined degenerator uh, functions. Then the sonnets, line, and section layers are almost equivalent to data link layer as well as OSA layer of uh, computer network is concerned. Then we have a photonic layer. This is uh, equivalent to layer one of OSI model. So it defines all the transmission requirements of signals. So this is the layering in SONET SDH, which is uh, you know, recommended by ITU. So we start with this is the path layer, then line layer, then section layer, and physical layer. Right? This is one of the say, transmitter side, or this is maybe a receiver side. Again, it starts with physical layer, section layer, line layer, path layer. So, in between uh, these two terminals, two end terminals in this sonnet, we have degenerator and add and drop bucks, which we call as add and drop functions. So, all multiplexing and multiplexing. So, so, these, this, so this is a complete, you know, layering sonnet or SDH. So now we discuss the elements that uh, work in this sonnet network. So sonnet standards define several apparatuses to fulfill different functionalities. We have uh, multiplexer and demultiplexers. We have degenerators. We have add and drop multiplexers. And we have digital cross connects. So, all these are electronics devices with no elaborations done in the optical domain except transmission. Now, this is a sonnet uh, architecture that have uh, path termination. We have line termination, section termination, involved degenerators, line termination, add and drop the multiplex mux. We have uh, line termination that involves median and the path termination. So, signals, electrical signals, labels called STS, synchrotron transport signals. Optical signals are called OCs, optical carriers. The devices that involved with the architecture are STS multiplexer, demultiplexer, regenerators, head drop multiplexer, and terminals. And uh, we have connections. So, sonnet devices are connected using uh, sections, lines, and paths. Now, uh, sonnet network element again, we start with region, regenerators. But so regenerators have uh, as a simplest sonnet element that are used in networking, optical networking. And it allows to overcome distance limit at the physical layer, receive the input stream and regenerate the section overhead before transmitting the frame. Right? So and another element that are used in sonnet network is ADM, add and drop multiplexer. So, it uh, multiplexing and routing over ring topologies. So, multiplex is different tributaries over a single 
optical uh, network. The add and drop operations allow us to elaborate add and drop for only signal that must be managed. So it uh, manages alternate routing in case of fault. So this is the working of ADM. Then we, we have uh, TCS. We are in the sonnet network elements. So what is DCS? It's the digital cross connect. Uh, multiplexing in general mass topologies. So different line speed work at the STS1 granularity used to connect several STS1 inputs. High speed cross connects are used to efficiently mux and demux several channels. Then come to the uh, other topics sonnet network configurations. So we have a number one configuration is point to point topology, which is the simplest topology that are used in Sonnet network configurations. And uh, look at this. Uh, this is the, uh, this picture shows the, how this point to point technology works. There we use different, many regenerators in between transmitting and uh, receiving signal. Uh, Then uh, we have uh, linear ad drop topology. This is a linear ad drop topology. So apart from uh, regenerators, here ADM are also used in this topology. So this is called as linear topology. ADMs and uh, regenerators are used along the line. And ADM allowed to add and drop tributaries along the path. Then we have hub network setup is typically on big aggregation point it uh, adopt digital cross connects working at high speed then we have uh, another uh, configuration we called as a sonnet wings this is the picture was sonnet wings and this is the most used topology and can use two or four fibers and an ABM at each node at each node at actually each node use one ADM. Look at this. Here we have four nodes and four ADMs. So this is bi-directional topologies. Then we have a sonnet frames uh, where data is to be sent through the frames. So we have two types of frame. Uh, STS one frame actually. It is a basic frame that involves uh, 90 bytes and 9 bytes. So, vertically we have 90 bytes and horizontally 9 bytes. And if you have STS N frame, then this 90 bytes you multiply by N. And so, this 8 and this particular 810 also multiply by N bytes. And the horizontal bytes will be the same length. So, each synchronous transfer signal STS N is composed of. 800, eight, sorry, 8,000 frames. And each frame is of two dimensional matrix of byte with nine rows and by 90 into nine columns. Right? Then STS frames in transition. Uh, so, uh, byte transmission this is a byte, you know, left to right and top to bottom is a byte, and this is a frame. Many bytes, and these are 800 frames per second that are that that is to be transmitted in this sonnet STS technology. So a sonnet STS and signal is transmitted at 8,000 frames per second, and each byte in a sonnet frame can carry a digitized voice channel. So in sonnet, the data rate of an STS and signal is n times the data rate of STS one. Signal and in sonnet, the duration of any frame is 125 microsecond. These are some advantages of this sonnet SDS technology. It uh, reduced uh, network complexity, flexible topologies. This sonnet has high data rate, efficient management of bandwidth, and protection of bandwidth is to be there. Sonnet and SDH. And there are some few disadvantages also. This cost is high. 
complex it to be as compared to cheaper ethernet that we used and the strict synchronization schemes thank you very much